Hello and welcome to Thrift Miss, where I'm going to go to 24 different thrift stores in and around my area and no repeats and pull the maximum amount of value out of that thrift store as possible. So for this video, we are going to the Goodwill on Jefferson in Newport News. I have great luck at this store, so it may be a feast, which would be awesome. Uh, and except that everything has to be listed by the time this video ends. So let's go see what I can find and uh, hopefully, hopefully I have a lot of good stuff. So the Goodwills in my area do a color of the week and this week it is orange and I actually am superstitious and don't get a basket until I start finding stuff. And I started finding stuff and luckily for me they are orange tag. So I actually found a brand new pair of Lucky Brand jeans and also a pair of can cans. I rarely find can cans in my area. So this was a boon. And this is a vintage made in the USA Christmas sweatshirt which is perfect because it's christmas season and this is 1993 so awesome and i'm trying to show you how much shoes are i think it said 7.99 for a regular pair of shoes 8.99 for boots and as you can see there's not a whole lot here as far as shoes go i rarely find shoes in my area unless they're at the bins mostly because i can actually order a thread up box and get a better deal which is surprising. A lot of Nine Wests, and this is fire resistance gear. This is Bulwark fire resistant. I picked this up. However, this jumpsuit, I did not pick this up, mostly because they wanted over $13 for it. Uh, I could have sold this probably around for the $45, $50 range, but I don't think I could have taken a good photograph for it. And I am just showing you kind of how big this store is. It is a massive Goodwill store. Like just absolutely huge. Um, here are a couple of beer steins. These are both made in West Germany. I actually picked this one up. I left the other one behind because this one had better comps and less competition. And this is just a gentle reminder. Please don't wash your vintage glassware in the dishwasher. I didn't pick these up because of the dishwasher fading. And here is a vintage Grapevine California Raisins sweatshirt, but I left this behind because this had some serious staining and I didn't want to deal with it. And here are some vintage Pimpernel placemats. I actually picked these up because they would be $2.50 because they're half off. And I actually left this behind. I may come back and pick this up next week when it's half off. All right, so this is me going through one of the men's racks. The men's long sleeve shirts here are 525. Um, so I'm really looking for the orange tabs because they're gonna be half off or something absolutely spectacular. Uh, I saw this, this actually shouldn't have been here. This is a women's shirt. It has an absolutely gorgeous print. You can see here it is. 20 size 20 i put that aside to check to see if i wanted to pick it up later but i actually found out this had a bunch of holes in it so i left it behind i have too many projects so <laughs> for this for the purpose of this driftness i'm going to just set that aside which sucks because it probably would have made something absolutely gorgeous pushing guys uh forward Again, going through, seeing if there's anything interesting. Again, <laughs> this was just loud and uh, proud. Bright neon. That was a Nike piece, but it was full price, so I left that behind. I'm trying to pull as much valuable stuff out as possible, and while I could have made money off of that, I decided to leave behind. This is a grunt-styled shirt, so... If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above, but I am leaving all of that behind. This was loud and uh, very pretty and new at tags, but new at tags actually sells for only uh, $19. So I left that behind. Here's me trying to show you the new price. So that stayed behind. Again, looking through lots of orange tags, but not brands that would resell for enough to make it worth it, even at less than $3, at least for me. 
I have to be excited about it and interested in it to list it immediately, and that's what I gotta do for this challenge, so. Um, what is this? This is a polo button front. I don't know. This is this is different. It's a Nike ACG, but I, when I went to check comps for Nike ACG button fronts, the comps were like in the twelve dollar range. So I actually left that behind because it was full price. This is an orange tag, Tommy Bahama, one hundred percent silk shirt. Uh, so for less than three dollars, I picked that up. I know it probably won't sell until summertime, but I actually do pretty well with Tommy Bahama, so I went ahead and put that in the cart. And here is me showing you my elbow. Look at that beautiful elbow. Um, so sorry. <laughs> Going through the rest of the shirts in the rack. Um, this one just puts things on the rack. Some Goodwills color coordinate, this one does not. Okay guys, I am back, uh, full transparency. I actually only went through about 80% of that store. As I showed you all, it is a huge store and I am disabled. I do deal with a couple of chronic illnesses. So I cannot thrift for really longer than three hours before I start to actually get physically ill. So uh, I had to cut it short, but I still found a lot of really good stuff and hopefully you guys will agree with me. First thing I'm going to show you is this Her Universe uh, slash um, Torrid. So this is a collaboration between Her Universe and Torrid. Her Universe, if you do not know, uh, let me tell you, it is a nerdy, geeky uh, clothing brand that makes clothing and accessories specifically geared towards women and femme presenting people. And it does like all nerdy stuff. So they have like DC licenses, Marvel licenses, pretty much anything like comic book, video game, that kind of stuff that is geared towards um, femme presenting people. It's on that site. And they do do a lot of collaborations. I know they did a limited collaboration with Loot Crate. They've done, a coll they've done multiple collaborations with Torrid, which is what this is. This is actually a four, which is amazing. And it is Wonder Woman. It's maxi length, you know, these collabs. I didn't find a comp for this specific dress, but similar dresses were going in like between the $30 and $45 range. Um, I will hopefully be able to find a stock photo for this because I do not, my mannequin's too small, unfortunately, and I don't have a plus size mannequin, which is something I will get eventually, but this is just hanging on the hanger. So this is one of those instances where I might actually, if I find a stock photo, Put it in like as the last picture but this is absolutely gorgeous i'm so excited i rarely find torrid in my area even though there is a torrid store literally in newport news uh it's just because people love it and people buy it and when i'm at the bins people snap it up to resell and i just i just don't get it but this is awesome and i'm so excited about that all right so this next piece is something i am going to put in my rotating reseller closet which means i am not going to put it in my closet i'm going to list it and it's going to live in a separate closet but i will wear it this is a cabby piece i am pretty picky about what cabby i pick up but this is green so obviously i picked it up it's this beautiful eyelet 100 percent cotton so it's in one of the fabrics that i love it's this bright kelly green it is a size small and it is a high low so it is low in the front. What? Wait, no. So it's high in the front, low in the back, and it has this beautiful lace hem at the bottom. I just thought this piece was gorgeous. So this is the kind of cabbie that I'm going to pick up, mostly because it's in a natural fabric, and it's my size, and it's in a colorway I like, so I can wear it until it sells. I'm definitely willing to pay uh, you know, $3 for something like this. <laughs> something I can wear until it sells, and it's just beautiful. The next piece is Tommy Bahama. You guys see me pick up Tommy Bahama pretty regularly. I normally only pick up the linen or silk pieces, unless it's one of those big embroidered backs. Uh, I'll pick up the rayon for those. But here is the logo. If you've magically never seen this before, this is a size large, 
And this is 100% silk. It has, it's green, so I definitely picked this up. And it just has some uh, Monstera leaves and palm trees on it. Something that I pick up regularly and I like reselling. You know, you do you, you don't have to do that. I rarely pick up kids clothes unless it is vintage and I cannot physically leave it behind. And that's what this is. Look at this thing. This is from the 80s. It's just a little snowsuit. It's the perfect time of year for that. And it's like this cute little cottage core floral and it's got the little hood. Oh my God, I just, I thought this was precious. This is union made, but the label has been washed to death. You can just see the vestiges of it there. This is a super cute little 80 snowsuit. I could not leave this behind. These were selling between 15, like around $15. So I'm perfectly happy <laughs> to save something from getting possibly thrown in the landfill. It's too cute. Something that cute, I'm gonna pick it up. Now, again, quarter four, so I'm looking out for new tag stuff, and I did find actually three new tag pieces uh, at this Goodwill. The first one is this Women's Champion. There's the tag. Champion t-shirt, this is a crop style, and it is a women's size 2XL. So I was very surprised to see this and no one else had snapped it up, and the fact that they didn't mark it up, because, you know, Goodwill seems to like to do that with new attack stuff, and they didn't in this case. The same thing goes for this beautiful Lulu's piece. I also rarely, I, I rarely find Lulu's, just like I rarely find Torrid in my area. I rarely find Lulu's. But this is Lulu's. This is a cute little cropped piece. And it's got these amazing flared bell sleeves very boho and this is a size large and again new with tag so this is great it doesn't i don't doesn't have the original price on it anywhere just like the champion piece didn't but still new with tags and the last new with tags piece i found again super surprised they didn't mark this up because they like to do that here this is a pair of lucky brands and they are a pair of size 4 slash 27 new with tags and they're an ankle cut they're straight leg and they have this beautiful what looks like bleach dye and it's just this beautiful floral all the way around so pretty so i was also again really surprised that no one had snapped this up because i saw three resellers when i was in there but i got there first so this was amazing those other two pieces are amazing Hopefully, they will sell quickly. All right. The next item is this pair of Levi's. This is, you know, just a pair of basic cargo shorts. They have the snap western style flat pockets. And these are like long cargo shorts. Hello. <laughs> these are long cargo shorts. These are a size 38s, I believe. Let me see here and here. Yep, size 38s. There are still some guys who want to have that long inseam, and there are still tons of people who want cargo shorts, so I definitely picked these up. Uh, also, they were half off, so for two and a half bucks. That's a win. So the next two items are items that I'm actually keeping, and as with uh, this beautiful vintage dress here from day one of Thriftmas, uh, because I am keeping these pieces, I have pulled something else from my closet to resell in their place. The first thing I'm going to share with you is the shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> this is actually We The Free. And it's a size small, but you know, free people is oversized. And it's just this nice like roll cuff t-shirt. It's just a good basic. It's just really loose. It hit, fits right around the hips. It's just... I'm, this is the most awkward thing I could do. Um, it's just very loose, and I've mentioned before that I have sensory issues. If I find stuff that I like that I want to fit, that fits me, I'm going to wear. And so I'm keeping this, and then I have decided to let this beautiful vintage piece find a new home. I picked this up in an estate sale. It has absolutely gorgeous puff sleeves, these short puff sleeves, and this lovely pastel color. 
This probably won't sell until spring because this is a very spring shirt and that seems to be the only time I wear it. So because I don't wear it more often, I am going to uh, switch it out with something that I will wear pretty much all the time. So I am, one goes in, one goes out. And then the second piece is a Madewell piece. This is green. So of course I saw it. And this is like a muscle cut, so it, it cuts deep down in here. And it is my size, and I've already tried it on, and it fits me. So again, something that I definitely know I will wear regularly. It's actually ribbed, which is on trend. So would I probably make more money selling this than what I'm switching it out with? Absolutely, but you know what? This makes me happy. And you know, that's what life's all about, right? Is to get as much happiness and joy out of it as possible. So I am going to be selling this instead. This is actually something that was gifted to me by Carolyn. Uh, it was actually something I pulled out of the stuff that she donated to me. And I put this in my own closet, but I don't wear it because uh, the material, while it's super soft, uh, I don't like to wear the appropriate undergarments that would make this look flattering, if that makes sense. So, uh, I actually did look this up and this Banana Republic Lux Touch type of sleeveless top, these sell for like $10 pre-owned. So this is a size medium. I will definitely donate this to keep this. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing there. Uh, that's kind of what my policy is. Like if it's something that I'm wanting to keep and not list to go in the reselling rotator closet, reselling rotator closet rotating reseller closet. If it's something I'm actually wanting to hold on to for a while, uh, I will just switch it out with something else. But that's gonna go back into my drawer. And yeah, so now I have a couple more vintage pieces to show you. This is a Christmas sweater. So it's a really good thing that I have to have all of these items listed before this video ends because this needs to get listed now. But as I mentioned before, I literally will list things any time of year. This is from 1993 and it is dated there at the bottom. But we'll see if anybody wants this. It is made in the USA. It does have a weird tag, which I showed you guys in the video. And hopefully it'll move on to a new home very quickly. And last but not least, let me share with you the hard goods I picked up. May be amazing, who knows? Um, I did see sold comps of this particular type, uh, a set of seven, but it was sold on best offer and they had listed it for like $70, $75 or $80. So I have five of them. I paid $2.50, so 50 cents a piece for these. I'm gonna throw them up and hope for the best, but this is like very cottage core very forager friendly. So we'll see what happens. Again, I only paid 250 for it, so I don't think I can lose money off of these. And then the last thing I'll share with you from this Goodwill haul is this salt glaze stoneware uh, half liter stein made in West Germany. I have bought and sold the Hofbra House uh, steins just like this multiple times. This is my first time finding Hackerbrau. Uh, there weren't a whole lot of half liters comps, but you know, I paid four dollars for this. I think I can sell it between 10 and 15 and you know, I have a good tracker with, record with this type of stein. I didn't pick up the other one because there were a lot of listed of the other style of stein, which is why I didn't pick that one up and not as many solds. So that's why I picked this one up instead of the other one. I was more confident that this one would sell for a price that I would make a really good profit on or what I would consider a good profit on. But I'm really happy I got a couple of pieces for myself. I am so happy with this shirt, <laughs> as you can tell, and I'm excited for it to warm up for me to wear the green one. And this has been, this is so amazing. <laughs> so the total I spent for everything that I just showed you is $52.29. This is how many items I listed in total. And this is how much I am hoping to get from it. But I'm really happy 
and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos because I am enjoying making them and I do hope I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Until then, bye! Bye!